back to Greg Tech New Horizons. Uh, where we are... Where are we? In the house. Um... Not done a too, too whole, too much <laughs> between streams. Um, I did. What did I do? I might have made a few more drawers, but not not a crazy amount. I think it's pretty much how it was. Um, we did. I'm pretty sure that was on stream. I went over to the village and I got the uh, the extra seared bricks to expand this. Um, I did make a ingot cast. I think that was that was in between streams. Right, so we can cast out some metal. And we have some iron in there and some copper. And then uh, otherwise, I, I think it's pretty much, hey there. Are we gonna hear it? Uh, I was on another stream earlier and there was saying there were some issues with delays with the uh, sound alerts. <laughs> Either I didn't hear it, I didn't notice it show up in, in OBS, but I did see the thing in the uh, activity feed. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going around. Uh, it seemed like the bit-based ones were working. <laughs> But the channel point ones were not. Maybe it's actually a Twitch problem. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so what are we doing today? Oh, that was weird. What are we doing today? Uh, mostly. Rip. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits. Definitely got that one. <laughs> yep, bits work. Of course they work. Yeah, real sus. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? I guess we should probably just go off the quest book. Because that, that should steer us right. Uh, so I think last stream, before I got distracted with going back and doing some of the, the Stone Age things, like drawers, which I guess I could... Um, oh, that's right. I think I was short a drawer on this quest anyway. Well, let's, let's claim the rewards for these things that we completed. Um, and then we did the crop stick ones. Uh, so we got the crop, crop sticks. They're just called crops. I don't know why they're not called crop sticks, but whatever. And some other things so we can, uh, we can claim uh, our reward. And I think, I mean, I see two crops. Might be an interesting loot bag. Can we hit you over this? We can. All right. So uh, what can we get? Also, I'm seeing it's it's getting kind of dark. So there's a chance of a few different things, like ore berries, or plant lens, or other things that would probably just be completely useless right now. Uh, but it is tempting, right? Seeds, garden soil. Who knows? Who knows what we could get? With the IC2 loot bag, the IC the the crop sticks are not actually that hard now that we have tooling to make. We could make a bunch of them, and we will need to. And it's dark. It's it's bedtime. <laughs> Sleep before stuff spawns. Uh, let me put my new coins away. And what did we get? So we got some butter potato, which uh, I don't think we've ever eaten before. Yeah, not eaten. What does it taste like? How is this made, butter potato? Oh yeah, butter and a baked potato. How is butter made? Okay, a saucepan. Uh, you know, we could actually maybe, I don't know about an iron screw. Well, that's not impossible. We could, we could potentially make, um, hey Jake, how's it going? Welcome, welcome in. Just trying to figure out what to do next. It's going good, that's good. Um, I feel like we can make the crops, but you never know what's gonna be in the loot bag. Uh, I might just claim it just to claim it. <laughs> all right, so we'll put the coins away. Look how many coins we have. We got all of these technician coins. We could turn in for something, maybe. 
Um, but the loot bag, what's it gonna be? Maybe something good? I'm not gonna wait until we fortunate. It's, it's just one. Okay, we got a hydration cell. Uh, was that all we got? Just the hydration cell? I think so, because otherwise it would have gone in the other slot here. So what can we use a hydration cell for? Um, <laughs> interesting. There's a quest. Is this 100%? Okay. Maybe there's a quest that actually that fulfills somewhere. I think we we should have unlocked something by completing this quest. Maybe in, in this area? There it is. Uh, okay. So we'll be able to complete this quest. <laughs> kind of sequence break uh, because of the quest reward if we do this. But we need eight unknown seeds. Uh, so I think what we need to do if we're going to pursue the, the whole farming thing, which we should do uh, soonish, is uh, actually follow the instructions here. <laughs> um, I guess that's a thing to do. If we're going to do farming, we should like get on that. Get stuff going, right? So... If you ever wanted to know how to how crop breeding works, you are in the right place. Get some crops, the sticks, uh, that is, and some seeds from farming with a hoe or mattock. We have some seeds. Uh, you can also place some plants and berries directly on crop sticks. Good plants to start with are flowers, wheat, cactus, and sugarcane. Make a plot of farmland with your tool and place water in the middle. Hmm. <laughs> The quest book <laughs> or the channel? Which place? <laughs> hmm. Well, I I know some of this. Um, this mod specifically, this is coming from Industrial Craft 2. <laughs> um, I've not really used a lot. Except way back in the day. I don't know if crop sticks were even a thing, but I have seen some videos. Uh, and fortunately, we have a quest book that explains pretty well, I think. Now, I'm trying to figure out. So it says, make a plot of farmland with your tool and place water in the middle. Uh, for now, make three by one plot separated by a row of dirt or cobble. You want to be able to see the center of each column of three by one plots all at once like this. So... Oh, I see. So farmland, farm, so the F's are farmlands. So we, you know, ground that we till with a, a hoe. And D is dirt or cobblestone or something, right? Um, and then a water in the middle. So this is like, this is four in each direction away from a block of water. Now we have some farmland already by the, uh, the river. And that's probably a pretty good place. Um, so in the top left, you can see where it says biome, uh, up, up that way, <laughs> way up there, it says biome cold, cold river and the temperature is 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but if we go down here, the biome changes and this is why I had put all of the just kind of normal plants down here. So it's temperate river, it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a uh, 60% humidity. So it's not. There are some things, and I, I think maybe plants are one of them, that eventually you want really high humidity. But uh, for now, I think this will be fine. And is this actually like perfectly, almost, I need to get some dirt. Almost the right thing. Oh, it, it occurs to me as I look at my hotbar and look at my tools. The one thing I did do between streams um, was make um, because we, in the last stream, we made the, um, the pickaxe mold. So I did make some, uh, I, I melted down some of the bronze, or, yeah, bronze that we'd already made, uh, and cast tool heads. Um, which is a thing you do. I think we saw some of that on stream before. I'll probably, I should be able to make a, a mattock at some point. Um, that'll, that'll probably be actually be a really good thing to do once this hoe breaks. Um, right. 
So all my dirt went into my backpack. All, all my dirt, all eight dirt went into the backpack. Uh, so we just need one, two, three, four. So we just need to like even this out. And uh, I'm gonna take these crops up. And we'll use this for our IC2 crops. So this is the right size. We just need to finish off the corner. Now, what did I do with the crop sticks? I think I used them all, didn't I? Let's make some more. I don't know if I finished my last thought, but my last thought was basically once the hoe durability uh, goes to zero, we can make a matic with uh, the uh, uh, casting table and stuff. Let's show that off. Um, delicious onion. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, crap sticks, crap sticks, crap sticks. Yes. Uh, I don't have that recipe before, so crap. Mark this recipe for later use. And so each one of these, we need um, four of these. And each one of these, we need each two of these, we need a piece of wood, a log, right? So two logs per four. So two logs per crop stick. Um, Yeah. There was something else I was thinking about. Oh yeah, how many crop sticks do I need, right? So, uh, one, two, three, well, this, hmm, can we, one, two, three, four, almost five rows of nine. What's five times nine? <laughs> 45. So we need at least 45. So we need, let's say we take, uh, so that'd be nine, yeah, so 90 logs ish. Uh, we could use jungle. I guess we'll use a combo. Unless I want to go shop a tree. My other jungle trees have not grown. Should happen at some point. Let's see, we're we're at eighty percent on the uh, on that hatchet. The problem with these trees is it's uh, it's hard to deal with <laughs> without ladders, and I, I guess we could make ladders. I th I think we can at this point, but kind of expensive to do. Uh, jungle trees are much better because they are uh, <laughs> they they have the ladder included, right, with the vines on the side of them. Okay, but I think let's one thing at a time. Let's uh, let's get the crop stick stuff going, and then we'll come back and uh, farm some farm some wood. Okay. Well, spent most of that day talking. <laughs> uh, let's see. It'd be nice if there was a way. So what do we need here? We need a saw and a file, right? A saw and a file. There's a file. I did make a bronze file, which should hopefully have a little bit more durability, which is good because <laughs> there it went. Wow. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Gonna need a new file. What effect? Yeah. Oh, health boost three, huh? That's nice. Uh, okay, new file it is. I feel like the other file that I made that was not as fancy lasted longer. It was just like this one, right? Oh, maybe... Oh, I, I probably made an iron one, and iron is better than bronze or whatever, so... 
Yeah. Uh, the good news is, let's see, we don't have any iron up here, but we have iron in here. So even though we have enough for two blocks of iron, we cannot actually cast iron right now, which is why I made the, uh, the ingot cast. I did sacrifice an ingot of something. I don't remember what. To uh, to make the cast around. So to make a file, I think we need four iron ingots. That's right. All right. So we do take the ingots. We take our hammer. Make two iron plates. I think it's just this and a stick. Uh, I don't have any sticks though. Well, I have I have some long wood sticks, but can't can't use that. I'm pretty sure. Go something like that, but no. We can make a stick the old-fashioned way. We have an extra one for later. So I'm pretty sure this is how you make a file, right? There we go. It's also level two. Okay. I think the same amount of durability. Um, so with our long wooden sticks, we can make some crops. 15, how many did I say we needed? I don't know why I took, oh, I think the um, the bonus effect we got from sleeping, the extra health, the, the jiggling, the shaking was us losing the bonus health and that looked like taking damage. Okay, so anyway, so how many, how many of these can we make? Oh. That's not the right way. There we go. 22. How many did I say? I think I, I think I said 45. I think it's actually like 42. Um, the way it works out. Let's see. So saw again and a file. All right. Thirty-eight. Oh, this might be enough. Forty. I might as well make them all. There we go. Forty-three. I think that might actually be enough. We'll have some wood left over. Some jungle wood, anyway. All right. So I'm pretty sure the idea, and it, it says it here in the, the thing, right, is that you want to make it so that you can see the center of each column as you walk past. Right. So you have separation. So three farmland, three dirt, three farmlands. We'll see if I actually understand this. Two, three, one, two, three. Of course, this is already tilled because I had been using this for other things, but I don't, I don't think this will hurt anything. Or I can just come back and replace it with cobble, like it says. So I'm pretty sure this is the pattern that it wants us to do. understand this right it's gonna be pretty important for us to put some kind of seed on the crop sticks otherwise that happens <laughs> we, uh, we get a weed growing and that that is bad because they they can spread so um, let's go get some seeds Uh, did it say we can use um, flower, sweet cactus, and sugar cane? Maybe we'll use some sugar cane as well. I don't know exactly how this all works. I know there is a thing that it eventually allows you to like level up the plants in certain ways. Um, but again, I have just vague notions. Now, where did I put seeds? Had some seeds. Where did they go? 
Or did I have wheat? Can I take wheat and turn it into seeds? Is that a thing? It is a thing. All right, cool. So the way I understand it, this is going to be very important in the future. Okay, so cool, we can do that. So the the far the farming that we're doing now is going to enable something very important in the future. Now, how that exactly works, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I maybe was not paying the most attention to the other person's playthrough. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do this. We'll go check the. Uh, we'll go read the instructions here in a minute. I gotta say IRL. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes I'm like really into reading instructions. Oh, we're out of seed? I need one more seed, okay. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to following instructions, directions, uh, sometimes I'm really into that and sometimes I am uh, really opposed. But in this case, we, we, get, we got a long road, uh, and I don't want to spend a huge amount of time trying to figure out every little thing. Uh, so, some good advice here uh, is welcome. So, now place crop sticks in each end of... Th hmm. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I should have read more. Uh, in the, when they're almost fully grown, you can put double crop sticks in the center spots by using crop sticks once more on already placed crop sticks. The center area can now grow new crops, even new species. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. So I've already built. <laughs> so do we get the seed back? Nope. All right, well, that's fine. At least we get the crop stick back. So um, the way I understand it, the crops, like the crop sticks, when you put them down, they can grow weeds. But as soon as you put something there so that something is planted, it will no longer grow any weeds, right? So you never want to put down a bunch of crop sticks without being ready to plant something there, unless you're crossbreeding, like what we're going to do here in a minute. Oh, cool. I did get a sugar cane back. I guess because it had grown. That's good. So also they seem to grow faster than uh, they might otherwise. So we can see in the bottom, well, I can see, maybe maybe you can see too, depending on where my seat is. There we go. It says uh, stage size two of three, growth 12%. Uh, read tier two. The part that is buying on my head says read tier two. <laughs> so it is harvestable. Tier two can grow. Tier two. Okay, tier one. So like if we just wanted to have a bunch of sugar cane, uh, I mean, you can see there that that's growing quite a bit faster than normal vanilla Minecraft. Uh, seeds being planted would grow. So that's good, uh, but that's not, I think, what we're after. Let's go read the instructions some more. When they are almost fully grown, you can put double crop sticks in the center spot by using crop sticks once more on already placed crop sticks. This area can now grow new crops, even new species. Uh, with some luck, you might get a new unknown seed, which can be scanned later. Uh, a Centret appears in chat for those that are interested in that sort of thing. Using 3x1 plots is easy and not much work. Check them every 5 to 10 minutes to remove weeds and gather new seeds. If you forget, you only you lose one or two seeds. You don't know? <laughs> don't know what a Centret is? Me neither. Um, know that there are more. Know that the more crops next to the double crop sticks, the faster new plants will show up. Um, I think I have maybe enough time to actually do this part. Now it does actually need two crop sticks to do this. 
so I am going to need more. But I gotta go run away. Pokemon seems rigged. You just gotta use Ultra Balls. Then it's like an 80% chance. Maybe I should implement a PAL World community game. Uh, Twitch chatbot. <laughs> so you can catch other people in the chat, too. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need some more crop sticks. Alright, so... Keep on trying to grab the screwdriver, but I need the file. They look kind of similar. get a sense of the texture anyway <laughs> okay how many how many more of these do we need probably I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make them all oh, I'm gonna make them until I my file runs out it is interesting though so the saw has 25,000 durability but so did the file so I think different things use different amounts of durability of different tools Maybe? Maybe, maybe. All right. So what we should eventually see here, max size optimal harvest. So I don't know if, I think this will be fine, right? Even if this is like fully grown, I think something will appear here that is the crossbreed of these two plants. Um, there we go. Whoops. Ah. Click the wrong thing. There we go. Okay, so. So I need one, two, three more crop sticks for this setup. Three more. We're not quite out of wood, but almost. And I need to make another file, which means I need more, ah, more iron. Fortunately, I have a few more ingots. Um, I made that hopper, didn't I? Back, maybe that was last stream? But I did make that hopper, right? Where'd that go? just talking about making it. I thought I did. Did I use it for something? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, I bet it's in the chest back here. Uh, well, if it is, I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> um, I mean, we have so much space in the smeltery for putting stuff in. I don't think we need the hopper in front, but it's gonna be very helpful for um, taking stuff out of the uh, casting table. I'm assuming this will work. Let's see, I need to be in the right spot though to make this work. So we take a chest and put the chest here. There we go. Let's 
Hey, appreciate your lurk, Jake. Thanks for... Thanks for lurking. <laughs> thanks for being a lurker. Alright, so we're gonna make... <laughs> Two more plates. That's what they're called, right? Well, not that way. Uh, is it the other way around? Yeah, I gotta smack them down. I guess that makes a difference of plates. Yes, iron plates. And we'll use that other stick that we had from last time to make another file. And soon we're gonna need to saw. Alright, so we need... So that's one. Two... Three more crop sticks, okay. So that should do us. And then I think it's probably time to do something about our dwindling wood supply. I believe that you can actually put some kind of saplings. Um, there's some way of doing that with the crop sticks. So if a weed spawns, it breaks the crosshatch? Is that what I'm seeing? Okay, so one, we're gonna need a lot more crop sticks. And two, we're gonna need a lot more wood. And we probably just want to, uh, we're, we're gonna need more metal <laughs> for all the things. All right, so what do we got here? What's this? Currently harvestable, whatever it is. It's a lie. It's not harvestable, is it? Okay, that just gave us a sugar cane. Let's, um, let's do this. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to get it once it fully grows, whatever it is. Whatever that is. see okay I mean as long as it says it's not a weed I guess we'll just let it grow um, I have two more crops here so I can put this here there we go what could it be don't know uh, I think ultimately the, the the goal with this right now is to get unknown seeds uh, because there was the quest that we saw right over here New, pl new plants have grown on your crop sticks. You can harvest the crop by right-clicking it. Left-clicking will destroy the plants and drop a seed bag. This is not guaranteed, however, but the chances rise as the maturity does. Collect eight seeds of any kind to complete this quest. To unlock the next quest, you need the LV scanner. Okay. So we can harvest the plant by right-clicking and we'll get whatever it is. Left-clicking will destroy the plants and drop a seed bag. Okay, so here's a question. If we right click, well, it says it's currently harvestable, which is interesting. Like in the other case, we were able to right click and harvest whatever was there. Also, I need to put something here. There we go. Uh, whatever was here, well, it was a uh, sugar cane, right? We harvested it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess my question is if we right click it and we let it grow again. Oh yeah, that's a weed. Yeah, gotta break the weeds. But otherwise, yeah, that's a weed. Um, but with this configuration, so the, the reason I think the quest has us set up the farmland this way is that the weed, I believe, won't be able to spread. I mean, it might damage the adjacent crops, but I don't think it'll be able to spread. And in fact, I don't think it'll be able to hurt these either. Um, so it's safer in this configuration to just leave this for a bit and go off and do other things and come back than some of the other things you could do. So now, this is interesting. Can we harvest this? Will we ever be able to harvest this, whatever this is? 
or did we just have to right click it? I don't know. Find out tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, it seems like we're gonna need more crop sticks, which means uh, I think it's about time to go and uh, do something about our, our lumber situation. All right, this, this onion is really not doing it for me anymore. How about some butter potato? Mm. That's better. Let's go back to the onion. No, that's real slow. Let's have some asparagus. Everyone loves some raw asparagus. <laughs> All right. So. Now, at one point, I don't know, I'm not sure if that, I think that might have been at the beginning of the last stream or maybe the stream before, but at some point, one of the quests we did was to get us, uh, we, we chose one of these sapling types as a reward. And I think it was the 49 redwood saplings. Where did I put those? Oh, there they are. So it says, plant these in a seven by seven, it takes days to grow. So let's go, let's go try that. And while we're doing that, we can, uh, or while it, while we're waiting for that to grow, we can then go back and maybe harvest the um, jungle tree. So I'm pretty sure I don't want this anywhere near where I have built stuff already um, for a couple of reasons. I've seen these out in the world. They are massive. They have massive branches and uh, very large shadows, right? So stuff spawns under them. So I want this somewhere away. Maybe over here by the lake. One of them, maybe over here would be good. Or here, maybe in the middle right there. That might be good if there's a clear spot. We do need like a, a seven by seven uh, area, but that's not too big. must already know what this area is, right? Yeah, it's a coal. It's a coal vein. Um, maybe like right here? we have fast leaf decay, decay. So yeah, this seems like a good spot. Hey Lady Versai, how's it going? Welcome to the uh Traditional modded Minecraft Monday. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. A wild Zorua appears in chat. Whatever that is. <laughs> so I should have exactly the right amount for this. There we go. <laughs> so it's gonna be a big tree. Uh, in the meantime. Huh, that's interesting. All right. Like I probably, 
Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, that's good. I don't know, what do you think? Is that a big tree or not? Do I have torches? I do. Okay, so let's... <laughs> actually, before anything else, let's get some torches down. Because it's dark enough that st stuff might start spawning here. You caught it! Alright. See? It's, it's not rigged at all. Was last night yeah it was it was not good odds apparently last night uh, I think I also we got we got some time for nightfall let's let's get up the side of this uh, because there's definitely a spot midway up where stuff could spawn and that would be bad See what we can use the bark for. I suspect the bark is not as good as the uh, the uh, the inner part in terms of uh, a resource. As opposed to the actual redwood inside. some other spawning spots up there. Let me see if I can get up there quickly before stuff spawns. Okay. Alright, I have my sleeping bag. I don't have to rush back to the uh to home base. <laughs> Shouldn't be rushing at all while I'm on the side of this thing. But I have a sleeping bag, so I can sleep here. should be able to spawn on leaves because they're transparent blocks. So I think we might be pretty good here. Um, let's go down. How about a little light? I guess if we uh, wanted to move bases, uh, we could build a base inside of the tree. And ground level. And then we'd have lots of wood as we were going around, uh, you know, making rooms and stuff. That's an option. So the, uh, the redwood itself, so that's the inner part. We can definitely use just like a normal log, right? We can get planks from it and uh, wood pulp and all that. But then the bark, burn it for charcoal or make a hidden tree door. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, so it does not have the recipe to make uh, planks out of. You can use it for the crafting table and for making wood pulp. 
and you can burn it and certain kinds of wood frames and stuff. So there are some things you can use it for. Okay. So yeah, let's see. Let's uh let's head back to base. Or I mean I still have lots of um can we make ladders? I was asking asking that before, and I kind of assume that I can at this point, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, string and wooden screw, and sticks or bamboo. A screwdriver and a mallet. Okay, so we could we could make ladders. They're kind of expensive. Kind of expensive to make. Someday we'll have like assemblers to <laughs> automate making things, but that's gonna be a while. Uh, it's always making a staircase, I guess. In the meantime, let's uh, get in our sleeping bag and sleep the night away. At least I have lots of torches. I guess what I was doing is I was going up around the outside. Just carving away the bark until I got impatient. <laughs> Maybe we just keep doing that. Ooh, I have uh, haste three on right now. So hasty. Another thing that I could do with this axe is what I did for the um, my pickaxe, which is put a bunch of redstone on it to make it faster. Um, so that is an option. I do know there are some better tools in the not too, too distant future, like Maybe another 50 hours versus 500 <laughs> for cutting down trees in one go. So I guess the thing is, is I don't know how much I'm going to need that redstone later in between now and then. What I'm thinking about right now is, yeah, the uh, the bark is not so great for things, but on the other hand, that means that I'm not gonna really have a, uh, a desire to come back and harvest it all. So if I put the, if I build a staircase here, then I can always go back through the middle, or I can go up the, around the, uh, <laughs> around the outside, right? And then dig straight down. That could be an efficient way of going about doing things. So, what I need is like a lumberer's backpack right now. I'm gonna throw out the, uh, the onion. There we go. Hi, onion. way I'll just go basically all the way to the top and we can just cut down and take uh, one vertical slice is the wrong word but <laughs> one one block all the way down uh, maybe depending on if my axe holds out that looks like I've lost my haste effect. I'm no longer quite so hasty. Uh, so by the time I'm done with this, and we take a, 
<laughs> I cut down the inside. Um, I suppose that all of the crops should be mature. We'll see what we got. It is uh, just a probability, <laughs> a chance of getting uh, what we're after in terms of the, the seed bags. So we'll see. Let's get some light down here. It's all seeming kind of dark. There we go. It just occurred to me that this would be a really good time for Foxy to uh, buy the creeper sound because I would almost certainly fling myself off this tree in panic. But now that I've thought of that, I, I shall be on guard. I don't think this hatchet's going to make it. We'll see. We'll see if we even make it to the top, let alone going back down. Six percent. Very dark. Five. Three. good news is that the Tinker's Construct Tools can be repaired. The other good news is that it's not so painful to, to break this bark by hand. I guess we're going to need to make some more brass to uh, repair our tools, huh? Check the farm first, I think. Now, I don't really need that wheat, so I'll get rid of that so we can keep on picking up bark. The bark will be helpful. We can burn it, if nothing else. I don't think we can put it in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the thing that gives us, um, oh, maybe we can, the, the coke oven? Yeah, we can make charcoal from it. There we go. Okay. That's good. Well, I need to snooze that ad for a little bit. I want to get a little further. There we go. Back to the game. <laughs> Can we get to the top of the tree? <laughs> uh, no. No, I think we'll come back. It's gonna take too long. It's gonna be much faster to, to run back down here. And we'll come back with uh, fixed tools. Wild Spinarak has appeared in chat. Speaking of uh, <laughs> spinning, around and around we go. All right, the base is that way. I suppose the waypoint helps, huh? Better at my Minecraft uh, 
maneuvering. Let's um, dump off some things here, and then we'll go check on the farm. Let's see how things are. See our how our luck is at getting those seed bags. Probably take a couple of uh, run-throughs, which again was why we're trying to get the wood right to make more crop sticks. All right, so all that in there, all that in there. Let's put that redwood bark all in there. Spruce wood can go in there. Oh yeah, okay. Um, sure. That's fine. Let's put a stack of redwood bark in the uh, coke oven. Is that going? Yes, good. All right, so let's see. How did the farm fare? Okay. Looks like we got a mushroom. So here's a question, right? So if we harvest this, we get a mushroom. Cool. If I right click this, I get nothing. Now, did I get nothing because of the fact that I harvested it? Or was that just the odds of getting the seed bag? Now, I am curious about what some of these things would yield. Like this looks like, uh, something but I think I'd rather use I think if I harvest the mature I'm pretty sure the the book said if you harvest the mature one you have better odds of getting the seed bag so um, let me use my other crop stick here to put that back in place so I'm gonna right click which is gonna destroy the crop but a chance for a seed bag hey omen how's it going so no seed bag uh oh huh? oh huh? okay did I did I get, I got an unknown seed okay <laughs> and we got the purple glow shroom too whatever that is whatever that does I don't even know we can use it to make glow shrooms too we can um, extract it for glowstone dust okay that seems like that could be good. Uh, wax on, wax off. What is that quest? What quest did I just complete? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So we've not, we don't know what the seed is, but we know it's an oak bonsai seed, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, um,. We, we got a couple minutes before we have to take an ad break, so let me keep on going here. So they don't stack. That's interesting. Control for additional information. Has increased nutrients and decreased humidity requirements. So the, the seeds will have like different lifestyle requirements, if you will. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to pause here so that I can put stuff away as much as possible and um, yeah it's it's a lot we have a lot of stuff and I still have not really solved our our storage situation so I'm just gonna throw random things and random chests and it's gonna be awful um, but someday someday we'll have proper storage uh, but until then yeah so we're gonna take a break for just a couple minutes, and uh, when I return, I think we're gonna do more farming, uh, and more more tree chopping, and then I think see what's next in terms of uh, the steam age, which is a thing we need to come back to.